You might see a lot more people around Louisville today, more than 50,000 to be exact, as the National FFA Convention and Expo returns to town. Wave 3 News reporter Cedra Mayfield shows us how this convention is drawing big crowds. It's the invasion of the blue corduroy jackets as tens of thousands of FFA students swarm Louisville and its many attractions, including the Slugger Museum and Factory. Louisville. Louisville. I'm from Colorado. <laughs> no matter how they say it, one thing is clear. The FFA students are taking Derby City by storm. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm really enjoying it. Homegrown in Nebraska, Vanessa Ferentz is just one of nearly 56,000 students that have traveled from all across the United States to take part in the 86th Annual National FFA Organization Convention and Expo. The students will split their time in Louisville between the Kentucky Expo Center, a lot of different lectures and sessions, and local attractions, bringing to the area a welcomed boost in business. Total, we have about 10,000 people booked. It's like an entire extra month of business crammed into about four days. To accommodate the massive crowds, museum hours have been extended, tours modified, and staffing increased. There are changes many business owners are willing to make, especially especially if it means more blue corduroy jackets coming through their doors. Sometimes with you know, larger crowds than what we can always be ready for. Over at Toast on Market, Sometimes restaurant manager Joe X Line says orders are up, thanks to at least one winning recipe, loyal customers. We have a lot of repeat people who have been here before, they come back. The groups from Idaho bring us potatoes. A surge in business that won't soon go away. The welcomed FFA invasion is only set to run through Saturday Day, but get used to it. Louisville is set to host this conference through 2015. From the Slugger Museum and Factory, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News. Still